Good morning guys, it's Laurie from Passionate Penny Pincher and I'm excited. Today we are going to do a super easy, super easy farmhouse decor thing. So simple to do that anyone can do this. I almost hesitate to even call it a DIY project because it's that easy. But I hope it's going to get you excited to maybe do some fall decor around your house. Guys, as you're hopping on, I see a few folks are hopping on. I'm so excited. I'm also going to give you guys like a little tour of our kind of the things that I've got done, all of our DIY stuff um, for the fall. So hopefully it'll get you guys excited about fall even though it's really warm here. Good morning, Joanne. As you're hopping on, here's my question for the day. What style do you consider your house? Are you, do you like modern stuff? Do you like shabby chic stuff? Do you like farmhouse decor? What kind of stuff do you like? Leave me some comments. Do you like um, super trendy, like really, really modern stuff? Tell me what kind of decor you have in your house and let's, let me show you a couple things. First, I'm gonna tell you about the scarf that I snagged um, and the link that I, is right there is gonna show you all of the things that we got. I'm gonna use this. Um, in my house to decorate in just a second. I'll show it to you. So um, it was like $12. It's also, it's awesome because it can be a blanket scarf. It can be a blanket, which is what we're gonna use as. You can use it as a table runner. I'll show you how to do that as well. So this is a fun thing you can grab at the neck at that link. Okay, so let's scoot things down here. Eclectic, Carol says she's eclectic. I love that. Okay, here's a few things that I snagged. I got all this stuff on Amazon. Um, and it came, the first thing came a little while ago. The second thing came just recently. So the first thing was this pillowcase. Y'all, this was $3. $3 for the pillowcase is what I spent, literally. Now it took a while to get here. Um, I'm gonna show you, we're gonna put that in and see how it looks once it's in the pillowcase. And then I'm also gonna show you this really fun, easy DIY. So I got these just the other day from Amazon. The board, do y'all see this board? It was um, $6.99, so great price on this. And guys, some of you guys, lots of y'all like farmhouse country, Suzanne. Oh, hi, Tammy, glad you love it. Um, y'all, also, if you know someone who loves farmhouse DIY stuff, if you wanna hit the share this button to let them know how to do this. So this ward was an add-on item at Amazon for $6.99. I'm gonna use, I also, because I wanted to see what it was, bought this. This is more than I would ever normally spend on this. It was at Amazon, but just because it was easy, I went ahead and got it. It was $19.99. I'm gonna show you how to do this a lot cheaper than that. Um, but because it was so cute and the reviews were so good, if any of y'all have bought these before, you know these are expensive. This is uh, made of real boxwood, so it's really fresh preserved stuff. So you've probably seen it in stores. How many of y'all love those things? Yeah, do you guys just love this? I kind of think it's darling. Um, I have seen these in fancy DIY stores, like there's a high-end one right around the corner from us. It's ridiculously expensive, way more than I could spend. Um, so when I thought, when I saw it on Amazon, I would grab it, but I'm gonna show you, I mean, it is small, right? So I'm gonna show you how to make a similar one. This one was $19.99 on Amazon. Like I said, not crazy cheap, but I just loved it. So all we're gonna do to take this, guys, this is when you see stuff on fixer upper and you think it's all darling, what you have to do is just copy, look at pictures and copy what they're doing. Last week I was really discouraged about my own house and I was feeling like I wanted to do some fluffing and I thought what can I do to fluff it? I can't afford a decorator, so what can I do? Y'all literally all this is, can you see this? Let me see, okay, let's get this back. All I'm gonna do, this is, and this is how easy and simple I make things. I'm going to use some duct tape, right? Because y'all, really, duct tape fixes everything. I'm going to get a big enough sheet swath of it. Okay. Literally, y'all, duct tape. This board was $6.99. You can get all the supplies at the link on the back, right? We're just going to turn it right over here. So simple, I almost hesitate to call this a craft project because it's really, really simple. There. This was just so easy and um, so fun. But if this is when I just want you to feel like you can do this. The board at Amazon for $6.99 I think is a steal. I bought a similar one at Michael's. It's not as good quality. Um, and it was like 11 And I'll go show you that one in just a second so you can kind of see to compare. Let's see, I may have that. I think I've got it. Well, that's not bad. The wreath, okay, this needs to be ironed out. I think this bow needs to be ironed out. What do y'all think? I think it needs to be a little bit lower. Let's make it a little bit lower. So because I like easy and I will reuse this board, I don't want to do anything that's going to last forever because I'll use the board on something different. But all this is was this. Now we can make this cheaper. This definitely needs to be ironed out, but I literally just got it out of the box. So let's just kind of tuck it down here. 
so y'all can see. So simple. Now the wreath was pricey. The wreath was not super cheap, but, oh, that's gonna drive me nuts. Y'all are just gonna have to bear with that ribbon. But you can find it or make it cheaper. And now another thing are these pillowcases. How many of y'all have seen the pillowcases at Amazon? Amazon sell these pillowcases so stinking cheap. Y'all, this one was like $3. However, the trick, the problem with these is they take forever to deliver. So I ordered this one in, um, I ordered this one in June. It did not get to my house till July and I have left it in the corner since July, right? But it was three bucks. And the thing that I love is you can change your decor for $3. You just have to be really patient to wait till the item gets there, right? So literally $3 is what I spent. Took it forever to get here. But the nice thing is if you order ones that are seasonal, you can really easily change out your home and you don't, take a, you don't waste a lot of space with your stuff, which I love. So here we go, y'all. So easy. You bought a few off Amazon. They're so cute. The only thing that you have to watch for is the shipping takes forever. So just know, I don't know where they're coming from. They, I'm sure, are made in China and they are not made in America. So um, I hate that. If you know someone locally who makes them for less, I would love, love, love to hear about it. But for $3, here we go. Sorry. Y'all see that? For three bucks, it's super easy. Guys, if you know someone who loves DIY on the cheap, if you can hit that share button, I would so appreciate this. Where did I get the pillow part? I have a ton of these pillow inserts. Walmart sells them really cheaply. Um, Joann's, you can get them cheaply. Just make sure you use a coupon at Joann's. Don't forget at Joann's, you can use competitor coupons, I believe. So let's, okay. So, now I'm gonna take y'all on the tour. How easy, obviously that was super simple, right? So I'm gonna show you guys now how I would use this stuff and how you can make this even cheaper. Thank you so much for sharing. Someone says Ikea has stuff. Okay, so I'm gonna turn this around so that y'all can come with me and I'm gonna show you where I'm gonna put this little sign. Okay, here we go. And I'll show you some of the decor in my house as well. Give you some hearts and likes if you would like a little tour of our fall stuff and I'll show you how I've done some of it on the cheap um, yes, it did zip close here. Kim, here, there it was, zipped close. Okay, so we're gonna go, I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna use some of this stuff and some of the deals I've gotten. Um, and we'll just show the house if y'all wanna take a look at it. I feel kinda silly, but we'll do that and y'all can tell me what you think. So a couple of things, let's start with this little, okay, we're gonna come right over here. And this is that blanket scarf that I ordered off Amazon, right? Um, this is going to be dizzy y'all, so just beware. Um, I'll show you, I am going to put it at pretty much everything I have is a deal. So my this leather chair was $1.99 at, um, Ballard Designs and the pillow was my daughter's crazy pillow. The sun is really bright on that. So it's kind of funky and wild, but I'm just going to throw this over here and y'all see the difference in just throwing a pillowcase. So, so super simple. Carol, thank you for saying our house is gorgeous. We've penny pinched a long time to get here. So this is house number four or five for us and we've been super frugal. So literally all you gotta do is throw the blanket scarf. It'd be nice if it was folded together. A couple other things, I just thought I'd show y'all my little stuff. Um, the cotton I've had forever, the tin I've had forever. I probably had the tin for, I don't know, 10 years. The cotton, I bought two more socks this year. This little thing at Hobby Lobby, I thought was so super fun. Um, it's just that little swap, and I did buy that this new this year. Now, this is how you can make that wreath that I showed you cheaper, guys. This wreath, I want y'all to guess, where did I get the wreath and the chair? Y'all give me some guesses on where I got the wreath and the chair from, because they, you might be surprised where they came from and how much I spent on them. Um, Carol, you know where I got my inexpensive curtains? I got those at... Um, Oh, what's it called? That store that comes, oh, what's the store? Overstock. I got them from overstock.com. Okay, so any guesses? And yes, this is definitely where coupon shopping pays off. Okay, Tammy guessed it. So the chair was a dollar from Goodwill. Y'all see, the chair was a dollar from Goodwill. And the wreath was a dollar from um, the Dollar Tree. So literally, the pumpkins I did buy at Hobby Lobby. Um, but the just totally the the goodwills the chair I think is just darling. It was a buck and the wreath was a buck. So when you go to a thrift store, always watch because you never know what you're gonna find that was is super super cheap and you can use it really really 
inexpensively. I love the pumpkins too, Stacy. A friend of mine convinced me to buy them. So yeah, always check Goodwill. Always check the Dollar Tree because you can find things. So I was—I don't want to take this off, even though I might take this off. Let's see. Let me see if I can get this off really fast. What you could do with this, guys, is if you click that link above, I showed you how to get the board. We're going to take this off so you can see what you could do with this to make the, that board that I had earlier cheaper. Sorry, y'all. Okay, we're going to walk this over here. Okay, we're walking this over here. So you can see I'm walking around the house. So remember, we just got this. Now this one, here's the farmhouse board, and it's actually kind of crooked. Y'all, and I totally crooked. That's what happens when you do something on Facebook Live. This was, the board was $6.99. What I can do, the wreath that I love, I do love this little wreath. I could easily swap this wreath out. Y'all see this? To this wreath. Hang on. Super cute. Totally different look. But that would be $7 because the, the thing on the back was, well, let's see, it might be $8. $6.99 plus a Dollar Tree wreath. I mean, literally, that's a wreath from the Dollar Tree that I popped something on. So I just want you to see, you don't feel like you have to always spend a whole lot of money to have really cute things. You just have to kind of be creative and have a good eye. And look for things, if there's a decorator that you love, I've got a friend that I love who's a decorator, and I just go to her website and I kind of watch and see what she's doing. And she had this thing up there. Y'all, that's going to make me nuts, but I don't have two hands. So the board is from Amazon. That's going to make me nuts that that's not together. Anyway, so I'm going to have to get over it. I'll, fix, I'll work on it. You got a boxwood. How much did you pay for your boxwood at Target? I'd love to know. So now we're going to throw out the pillow over here. We'll go get this put away. And I'll show you a couple other rooms in our house that we've kind of DIY on the cheap. Um, yeah, so that's a $3 pillow. I mean, a $3 pillow cover. So easy. Um, super, super easy one to do. Okay, so I want to show you a couple other spaces. Do y'all want to go see my dining room? I've just been working on my dining room. Um, but I'll show you this too. So this little, these little guys right here, these little pumpkins, those are from the Dollar Tree. They're a dollar from the Dollar Tree. Uh, Stephanie, the link above, the Amazon link above will take you to that wood piece. I think that makes all the difference. So, um, yeah. You want to see the rest of the house, Caroline? I want to show you all of it, but I'll show you. I want to show you the dining room. Y'all want to, who wants to walk on into the dining room with me? Did I refinish the little chair? No, Carol, this chair came like it was. Isn't that awesome? Okay, so this has been my, this room is kind of my, ah, this has been my hard room to have, okay? So the dining room table, can y'all see the dining room table? And the buffet were my husband's parents. So we've had it in every house forever, and I will be honest, it is a little bit more um, fancy than what I would normally pick. So, what, um, I really struggled with how to make it nice, um, because it's, like I said, this is totally, it was actually, it was his grandparents' house, um, and it's been, so his, my husband's dad used to sit at this table and do his homework, so my kids always loved it. So I have really struggled to come to a place where I like this space. Um, and then this, finally these chairs, the chairs were chairs that we had at an old table that we got rid of. And so I painted those with chalk paint and gray chalk paint, super, super easy. Um, I do need more chairs at Lida. So I just ordered chairs that are coming in this week from um, Target. I will see, I might, I might unbox them, I don't know. Um, but super easy ways to just kind of make do with what you have. Again, I saw, Y'all, I'll come show you. This board is the same thing that I showed you guys in the other room. The board is from Michaels. Um, the wreath is from Target. Uh, oh, somebody said use a cutting board. That's a great idea because you might have a cutting board at home. The wreath, the uh, mirror has been repainted 58 times. What color should I paint that mirror? I'm not in love with the mirror at all, um, but I've had it, I think I bought it for $12.99 when we were first married. And probably not. I probably spent $19.99 when we were first married, and it has lasted on and on. So I need to know what color to paint that mirror. Um, the actually the lamps were in other places in our house. So me ask where my bar stools are from. They're from Ballard Designs. They're from the outlet store. Um, paint the mirror white. Carrie says that's what I was thinking as I was leaning towards like a white. And then hopefully we maybe are gonna like the um, chairs. This little silver tray, the little piece of silver on the tray is from Goodwill. The pumpkin was from TJ Maxx. The burlap runners I made myself, um, and literally to do this, we need to do a tutorial on this. Literally, you just get a long chunk of burlap, and um, you just play with the burlap. So it makes it super easy. Somebody says paint it, paint it, 
paint it mint, paint it gray like the chairs. I'm kind of gonna hope that these chairs come in this week and I love them. Um, we'll see. The little, these little plates, let me show you. I was really excited about these. The little plates from Michael's, um, they were on sale. So I got like eight plates for I think like $4. And then these pumpkins, let me show you what I did with the pumpkins because I thought this was really fun. Hang on just a second. You can see I need to iron over here. Y'all don't look at my ironing mess. Um, these pumpkin garlands, I found this pumpkin garland at TJ Maxx. And so I just cut it off into pieces so that I would have the pumpkins because that was cheaper than any other way I could get the pumpkins. I needed a bunch of pumpkins super cheap. So he said paint the mirror red. That would be wild, Maureen. I can't even imagine. That's kind of crazy. I don't know if I can do that or not. Um, anyways, super, just always be thinking of ways that you can kind of do things a little more inexpensively. Somebody says the mirror needs to stay darker to stand out. We actually tried a new mirror, um, this weekend and it didn't work. So I'm still kind of on a mirror thing to use the mirror. Yeah. Um, yeah. And the pumpkins, we'll do something else with the pumpkins back in the back. Um, cause I'm obviously pretty plain. I don't like a whole lot of color. Um, and Christy, you said your table would never work. Y'all, I have to tell you, I, this table, it is not probably what I would pick. The table is very hard for me to love, but I do, I love the history behind it. So I'm trying to come up with ways to make it right. Somebody says make it gold, paint the mirror with a pop of color, maybe with top. I could definitely paint it gold. That's a thought. I hadn't thought about that. And I am hopefully going to get, um, a new, a new um, light fixture at some point. That's kind of on my my to-do list. Somebody asked what my favorite decorator, my friend who's a decorator, oh my gosh, you guys, follow her. It is Julie from Less Than Perfect Life of Bliss. Less Than Perfect Life of Bliss. Someone said turn the mirror tall. I'm actually thinking what I might do even, because we've got quite a bit of space, is to get a bigger, taller mirror, like a big, tall, kind of more of a square mirror, um, or just something bigger. To, um, to make it have a little more space. Y'all think bigger? Take the legs off and use it where the mirror is. Take the legs off. Hmm. You think the table is beautiful? The table, it has a lot of history. And the buffet, they're staying. So I kind of have to work with what I have. Um, anyway, so that's kind of a peek. I was trying to think if I have any. Oh, 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 let me show you these. these. This was a fun little purchase this weekend. I don't often splurge on wild things. But I have to tell you, with my Ibotta money, I got the basket and those throws for free with my Ibotta money, which I just loved. So um, hopefully that helps you guys with some ideas. Definitely watch your Ibotta accounts. Um, I, I waited a while for that to add up. You would paint it the color of the chairs, Kimberly. What about the big, an octagon big mirror? I tried a round mirror and it didn't work because of the studs on the wall, it was too heavy. Oh, take the legs off the table. Yeah, my husband's not gonna let me take the table. It's my, it's, we're very sentimental about the table, so I'm kind of stuck with that one. Um, trust me, I have thought about every way in the world to come up with that table. And I'll bring y'all back over here. And I'm gonna fix this super fast. Okay, let's see. Ibotta, Ashley, we'll give you a link to it. Ibotta is a rebate app that when you, um, let's see, it's a rebate app that when you purchase things, you get credit back, you get $10 just for signing up, and it gave me some free stuff at Target. So I'm gonna show you guys, I'm gonna fix this now that it's done. Oh, I was gonna take you out to my office and show, we're gonna put this in the office and I forgot. We may do that really fast. Um, the curtains for the dining room, I need some curtains in the dining room really badly, Stacy. Paint the base of the table. I can't paint the table. The table, ha the table has to stay the way it is. That's the limit for my husband um, because it was his dad's and we are not changing the table. So trust me, I have thought about it. I have wanted to do it, but there are some things that aren't worth winning on and for our family, it's not worth winning for sure. A large mirror would be nice if it would give you room. We just turn your dining room table the opposite direction. I try turning the opposite way, but it's um, our room goes that way. Okay, so all the supplies to make this cute little craft are at the link above. I would definitely, if you are, I love the boxwood, like I love the boxwood, other than needing this to be ironed. Um, that really needs to be ironed, that's gonna make me nuts. But I love this look. The only, all, all the information, everything you need to make this is in the link above. However, if you wanna make it super cheap, use the stuff from the Dollar Tree and it'll be even cheaper. Can you say the name of the decorator? Yes, okay, and um, Hannah, if you can find this site and put it in, it's a long name. It's Julie from Less Than Perfect Life of Bliss. So the site is Less Than Perfect Life of Bliss. Her stuff is 
gorgeous and she has stuff when you see her house you will fall in love just like I did. Um, and But I love that if you watch, she does things kind of inexpensively. Like she found some really cool velvet pumpkins in the Dollar Tree bins. Um, there you go. Thank you. Yes. Less than perfect life of bliss. Less than, that's it. I think that's it. Yeah. I love Julie. Um, I don't know that she ever watches or has any idea. We met once at a conference and I just fell in love with her. So I'm going to take this into my office and I'll show you all that real fast. And then if you all have other questions. Um, just be, when you find somebody that you love that decorates the way you want to, don't feel like you have to, like you don't, don't feel discouraged, feel encouraged and think about how can I do what they have on a smaller budget. That's what I've always been thinking. What can I, how can I do that? Thank you, Kim, for sharing. I appreciate that. Okay, so let's go walk this into the office and I'll show you where I'm going to put it. Let's see, all right and come with me. We're going to walk in here. You're so welcome, Lawanda. I think you will love her site. I love her site. I love it, I love it, I love it. It's such a fun site. Okay, so we're gonna scoot this. I'm actually gonna have to move it around. Hang on, I may have to turn this so y'all can see. Hang on. So you're not looking at my Okay, so this is my office and I have some stuff here on my thing. I am just gonna put this right here. It's actually a little bit too big. Let's see. Hang on, y'all. It's too big and I'm afraid. I'm afraid to move that, but I'll have to move it later. Okay. There we go. I think I have to move this. This is very hard to decorate when I'm one-handed. Um, yeah. So there's my little office. That's obviously too big and I need to scoot it over. Um, but you can kind of see <laughs> what it would look like if I had it in the right place. It just needs to be scooted a bit. Isn't that, the sign, um, I made that with the silhouette cutter. I saw it for like $100 at a store. And so I used um, an old, some extra wood that we had and I just made it really fast. Um, so that's what I was going to say is just don't feel like when you see stuff that looks super expensive or fancy, um, it can be really, really inexpensive and done. So um, obviously I need to scoot the sign over <laughs> so it's not falling off the edge. Um, but that gives you an idea. So just fun ways to do some stuff. I was surprised at all the cute farmhouse decor Amazon had. Um, so definitely look because there are lots of neat um, ideas over there and just things, just think of different ways to make things. Oh, I was going to show you guys the scarf in one more place. Hang the wreath on the sign. Oh, that's a good idea. I could totally do that. That's a good idea. I may do that. I can't do that with no hands. I'm going to show you real fast one other way to do this scarf. That was the other thing I meant to show you. Um, this scarf over here that I showed y'all earlier, do y'all see this? Get a blanket scarf. This is probably one of the cheapest DIY things ever. This is a blanket scarf from Amazon, $12.99, right? Um, yes, Marie, people do think you have to spend a lot of money to have nice things, but you can do stuff frugally so easily. So what you can do on this, it's gonna be really hard for me to fold and hold, so I'll just move this right here, y'all. Hang on, be patient. Here we go. I'll put this here so y'all can see. Hopefully you can see. Can y'all watch that? And again, know that this has been, we are on house number, we're on house number four. We've been at penny pinching for a long time. I don't know if y'all can see me. I don't know if I really want to be seen that way. We'll see. Um, so we have been penny pinching forever to get here. So this did not happen in years one through 18, okay? This happened in like year later on. Does that make sense? So I don't want people to get encouraged or get discouraged and feel like other people have more than you have. Um, it just takes time. And so be encouraged that you can do it. Like this bin, this bowl I bought, and this is another big kit. Buy things that you love and that will last. I bought this bowl, I think 12 years ago. So I've had the bowl for 12 years. I, I think two years ago I splurged on the big hurricane. Um, and the garland, I know I've had the garland at least, at least eight years. So when you find something you love, Wait to get what you really love because otherwise you will waste money on getting other things. But there's that blanket scarf. There we go. Super easy. You can't see. I don't like being on this side where I can't see what the screen is looking like. So, but it gives you an idea of how easy that is to do and totally change the look for fall. Does that make sense? Yeah. So hopefully that helps and encourages you to just feel like you can do a little DIYing. Um, even if you don't have a huge budget, I promise it's amazing um, what just a little bit of stuff can help. And it doesn't happen, guys. It will not necessarily always happen from day one. So know that if you feel discouraged, like your house is not what you want it to be, 
Um, I know for me, this was not where we were. It's taken a lot of years and so much patience to get here. So I struggle showing people my house because I feel like I do want to say, y'all, I have coupon for a long time to get here. This did not happen initially, but just be encouraged. Just start small. And if you see something you know that you're going to love for a long time, grab it. If you are like me and are super fickle, get the stuff from the Dollar Tree. This pumpkin, it's from the Dollar Tree. So if I get rid of it in a couple years, I'm not gonna feel bad because it was a buck. So just think about ways that you can um, get the things that you love that you know you'll keep are worth spending money on. But if it's stuff that you're not gonna keep for a long time, skip it. Get a chair from Goodwill. I mean, a lot of that stuff. So just, I don't wanna ever encourage, I guess I don't want any people to come walk away and say, well, she has pretty things. Just know that this is like 20 years of couponing. My husband and I were saying basically uh, we've saved $100 on groceries for the last 10 years using coupons, probably at least a week. Let's at, at least, probably 200 of, over what most families think about. So think about that, $100 a week, probably 100 times 52 is 5,200 times probably 200 is like 10, so we've probably saved $10,000 on groceries um, for 10 years. So when you figure $10,000 a year on groceries times 10 years, it's $100,000, it adds up. So when you feel like you don't want to clip that coupon, you don't want to wait for the sale, you don't want to get the deal, know the long-term goal is whatever your long-term goal is, stick it out and wait for that. So anyways, you can find the stuff that I talked about in the link above. If y'all have other questions, I will try to answer those. Um, I think, uh, I'm trying to think. Tomorrow, Shannon is going to be on and she is going to tell you guys how to save big at Walmart. So anyways, you guys have the very best day and I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.